Well, we are at the start of fall, and college football's going on. The other day I was out doing some tailgate barbecue and thought, what a great idea for a graphic using Adobe Illustrator. So today, we're going to make a barbecue grill graphic using Adobe Illustrator. First thing I'll do here, using my ellipse tool, I'm going to make a circle, a half circle. We can always resize this later if we need to. And uh, by moving this cursor over to the side, we can kind of Pac-Man this thing to open it up. And if we look up here, uh, we have in our properties panel for the ellipse and the transform, we can actually just go in here and type in 180 and make it perfectly open. I think that looks pretty good to get us started. We may make some adjustments to this a little later, but for right now, I think it's pretty good. Our next thing we'll do is we'll make a rectangle tool. The fill I don't think really matters too much right now, but eventually we'll, we'll probably adjust the fill and stroke a little bit later. All right, and here we have this little rectangle here, that looks good. I'm just gonna select both of these and go to alignment and make sure these are centered um, and all that kind of stuff. And I think we have the bottom of that pretty good. Um, once I have that done, then I'll select both of those and using my selection tool, I'll hold down the Alt button and make a copy <clears throat> of this right here. Then I'll rotate this and move it up this direction. All right, so it looks pretty good. Um, matches and all that stuff, so I think, I think that's all right. I may actually just squish this down just a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. All right, um, next thing I'll do is using the rectangle tool again is I'll make a rectangle shocker with the rectangle tool rectangle tool is I am struggling to talk and this one I'll adjust this to where there's going to be no fill on the inside and for the stroke uh, it doesn't really matter too much for the color I'm just going with with the same color I had for the fill in here and make this be kind of relatively uh, thick of a line around there and I also just gonna kind of bring that down on those corners there to get a little bit of some roundness uh, to the top of that and I think starting to improve here a little bit maybe get it about right there and then if I center these, I can actually center them all. Actually, just select this whole thing and center them all with each other. All right. I do think that looks pretty good. Okay, now I am just going to up here, um, because that is an outline, I want to actually turn that into a shape. So I can go to Object at the very top and go to Path and we'll go with outline stroke there we go and then it turns it into a shape now by selecting all those I can shrink this down a little bit give myself a little more room to work and now for the legs of the grill maybe something like this I can always shrink it down a little bit more later but it's probably easier to have them be longer uh, to begin with all right and so we have a, a couple of those and then I'll actually make a third one that can then be the like the crossbar for support for the legs of this and I'll even make it a little shorter okay so here I'll bring this one here and then I'll kind of select these and make sure they're both um, 
the same height. And now if I rotate one of these one direction, and then move the other one kind of the same way as best as I can, like here. So if I maybe I'll make this one here be like 12 degrees. And then over here, what if I try like negative 12 degrees to make them equal. And then I'll move this over to this direction. And just to double check to make sure these are aligned to the same height. Get it as close as I can. Doesn't have to be exact. Uh, for this, it'll be all right if it's not. All right, and then I'll bring this over here. Overlap those just a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. And then a little wheel or something. So for that, I can just make an ellipse. This one, I'm going to fill the ellipse with black. And then I'm going to make one more ellipse. But this particular one, I'm going to fill this one in uh, with like a wider and off white and then I can kind of move these so that they're centered with each other shrink it down and then kind of place it so on there like that <clears throat> I think once I have that wheel done I can actually group this together just by right clicking on that and then it'll treat it as one item when I'm moving it around if I need to. And these three items, I am actually going to um, just turn these, I'm going to unite these three shapes here actually. Make that into one. And then I think I will even do the same with the top part of this grill. Turn that into one. And then this bottom half, I'm going to turn that into one. All right, so there's that. It looks pretty good. Now, if I open up this grill just a little bit, kind of eyeball it here. Actually, I, I will tell you what, I'm still going to uh, shrink this down just a little bit more. All right, and then I'll open up the grill a little bit more here. Yeah, I think that looks better. All right, so the grill's open. We got a handle on there. And I think, uh, like with any of these, I'll have those be the same color. I j am just using that second to the darkest gray, or the darkest gray, I guess, because then we have black right there in the swatches. And so that's what I'm going to use for the color. And then for the stroke on this, I'm going to choose black. And maybe I'll move this up to like five. And then if I click on this here, there's these different profiles we can use. I like this with profile too. Because it just kind of gives it a little bit of an illustration look on there. And I think that actually works pretty good. Maybe this top one I may actually even try with, uh, with Profile 1 or with uh, um, Profile 5 and see how that looks. And then you can kind of play around with that a little bit. I think, yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, and then uh, if I select the, these parts of the grill, I can right click and arrange and bring to front. Cleans that up a little bit. And then for the actual flame part. So as many of you know, one of my many weaknesses is actually drawing things that don't involve shapes. So I'm just going to use the brush tool here. And I'm going to try to draw the best 
flame that I possibly can. And connect it right back around here. Um, so that's not horrible. I may go back and make some changes to that. But if I have that selected and I right click, I can then actually go to simplify. And they have this like auto simplify. So you can push that or you can drag this around if you need to try to fix any of this at all. And I actually don't think that is the worst thing that I've ever made. I, I'm not real crazy about this part right here, but I think it'll be all right for now. And then I can change the fill of this. Um, so like, I don't know, I may like go with the fill be this, this orange color right here. It's pretty good. And then on the outside of it, I could even, um, for the stroke, I could go with that lighter color on there and that doesn't look too bad either and then like I said you can always kind of um, play around with these with we got all sorts of problems going here uh, we can play around with all these points here you know and kind of get this thing to look the look the proper way and you know kind of do what you want with that or if you if you don't like the flame you can always kind of move it around and and change that up later so uh, there we have this so if I kind of serious about this I might just group this for right now and try to center this as best I can and there you have a simple barbecue grill icon uh, that you know you can play around with for a website or for a mobile device or whatever you want to use it for so let me know what you think of the comments um, I'd be excited to see your creations of this so you can send it to me and let me take a look and Maybe you can teach me how to draw a flame the right way. But there you go. Appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.